whose Christmas times were born in are not lying the times of old. When the lights of love shone merrily and our pulses felt no cold. When the laughter of those young hearts round our firesides merrily Ah, the laughter of those young hearts are gone a storm of cream. It was on a dark December night those bloodhounds found their way to a dwelling house in Newtown not far from Dunbeg Bay. It was their young Mac and Shanahan were with irons firmly bound, placed in a lorry by blackened hands and brought to Kilroy's town. There they were asked to give the names of those their comrades born. And told they'd get their liberty if their runner thus they sold. This they refused immediately and said they would rather gaze on a cold dark gloom of some foreign tomb or seek a martyr's grave. Next the priest was seen for, and while those boys he blessed, the rifles of the blackened hands pressed closely to their breasts, and before the priest departed, he bade him his last goodbye and pray that God might bring them safe through Ireland's cross and triumph. All night those boys prayed fervently to the almighty God and high to enable them to die like peers, Con Colbert and MacBrien. But when morning broke, those boys awoke in their lonely prison cells, and the blackened hands were in the yard like devils out of hell. While those boys were thinking deeply on their young days at home, the blackened hands with handcuffs and chains came in the prison door. They handcuffed chain and brought him to the waiting bus outside and shot the in the road their brutal laws revived. It was in the news when like the wind that my co-maclaid lord. And also Willie Shanahan, the pride of sweet Doak Moore, their coffins wrapped in the tricolored flag, side by side are laid to rest in that lonely graveyard of Dunbeg, with the noblest and the best. Ah, they're dead today, those heroes, 
in the pride of sweet West Clare. All we can do for their poor souls is to chant a silent prayer. Sweet were their looks, soft were their smiles, and kind were they to all. And it's sad to say that those brave boys met with such a sad downfall.